So I am very excited uh, to make a big announcement today. The government of Alberta will provide $55 million in funding uh, to the uh, Li Kai Shing Institute of Virology here at the University of Alberta. This is on top of the $20 million that we already announced uh, earlier this year in, the, in this space. Today's funding follows a request for proposals uh, from Alberta's Ministry of Jobs, Economy and Innovation that was uh, opened earlier this year, and uh, the successful applicants are with us here today. The funding to the Li Kaixing Institute will include vaccine portfolio development, support for Alberta cell therapy manufacturing, a level three biosafety lab, and a structural biology facility. The funding will address the need for vaccine development here, but will also support the broader pharmaceutical and life sciences sector in Alberta, helping to create uh, new jobs and, and opportunities for economic diversification. When the pandemic hit, U of A researchers pivoted immediately, publishing more than 120 studies in the first year and securing over 30 million in federal COVID-19 research funding. And today's new investment will allow us to accelerate this work even further, not only for COVID-19, but for other diseases. And with it, we can build and enhance key infrastructure that supports drug development from, dis from product development right here in Alberta. Our sciences will be able to identify emerging viruses with unprecedented speed and precision, test new treatments in state-of-the-art facilities, and run clinical trials to bring medicines to all Albertans and indeed around the world. While the health benefits of such discovery and development will extend well beyond our borders, the potential economic benefits for Alberta are remarkable. By 2023, worldwide revenues in the pharmaceutical and therapeutic sector are expected to reach over $1.5 trillion. One successful vaccine can generate royalties in excess of $300 million over its lifetime and employ hundreds of people. So today's other recipients, Entos Pharmaceuticals, Applied Pharmaceutical Innovations, and Northern RNA, exemplify what is possible when we work together, and strong partnerships will be critical to the future success of biomanufacturing in Alberta. 